will now hand it over to Dr. Hu for her presentation. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me here and uh, good afternoon, everyone. You can all hear me, right? Can see me, hear me. Just want to make sure we are in um, very good volume here. And uh, today we are going to share community services and actual curriculum activities. And we are going to discuss how that can help you to shape your characters and help your career in long term. But also most important, that will help you to get into your dream colleges. So with that said, I'll just share my screen with you. I have prepared a very short presentation for you. Um, let me share my screen. All right. So you should see a full size screen, right? Okay. All right. So um, so this is our focus today. And let me go to the first one. So um, some of you already um, know me, met me. And there's uh, some um, interesting thing I want to point out here is um, as uh, our host just introduced, uh, currently I'm a Dublin City Council. Um, so I went to election campaign last year and then I, I was very lucky. So I got uh, the most votes in the history and I was honored to get selected as a city council. So I also, because of that, I got more opportunities to uh, lead um, students and the parents and uh, all the other residents to do more community services. That's why, you know, we, we are going to talk about this. Just, uh, um, just also, I'm, I'm a college uh, planner. I have an organization. I'm the founder and the president of an um, organization. The name is Beyond Academy. So I have the information here. So we help the hundreds of students and families to help them to get into dream work. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Professor, he, social is the professor. Just yeah, so if I, I heard some people talking, so if you um, you can mute yourself, that would be great. Thank you. So I would just spend about like 20 minutes talk about how these actual curriculums, you know, like uh, potentially how hackathon, how activities you do can help you for your college admissions, right? And then um, about 2.25, we'll hand it off to the um, the volunteers in Hackdown, they will talk about this specific project to you. Okay, so a little bit about the trending, right? Trending, so because things are changing, especially after COVID, there's an announcement actually last year, the 300 college things, they talk about what they expect to, or what has the characters, what has the things they will um, focus on in the future for college admissions. So there's a, a paper about this. So there's a things people never really pay attention before, but now it becomes more and more important. So things including self-care. What does this mean? You know, during this COVID, things has changed dramatically, right? And self-care becomes so important. You need to make sure you handle stress very well. You make sure, you know, you are working remotely, but you can adapt to the change. So there's so many things involved. People started to realize, you know, most important, important thing during that uh, uh, emergency situations is you take care of yourself first, and then you can help, um, you know, help others. And second thing, as always, you know, academic work is always important. Um, like get a good strong GPA, have a, you know a lot of AP classes, um, high score in SAT. This is always uh, important, right? And another thing important is service and the contribution to others. So this is important because, you know, like uh, sometimes uh, um, how much you do for the community services, how much volunteers you do, how much actual curriculums, how much, you know, like uh, you take care of others become very, more and more important, especially, especially for students who want to get into like a first year colleges. So they, they look at those things. Um, and also, especially for our Asian students, um, as many of you know, like we have a much higher uh, criteria compared to um, our 
let's say like other um, ethnicities, for, for example, like African Americans and Hispanic and uh, like, uh, uh, like Caucasians, they, they all have a lower, I say like a, a easier to get into those good colleges. And another important thing people probably haven't really thought about is your contributions to your own families. Like during the COVID or it's past the COVID, we want to take care of our own family as well. Maybe your family ran into some um, like health issues or run into some financial issues. As a high schoolers, how you can do things to help your own family, like how you can, for example, simple things, how you can help your parents to take care of your younger siblings, right? How can you just uh, do some uh, housework, do some chores to help them out? So those become something um, important as well, you know, not just the, about going outside doing good things. Take care of your family is a good thing to do too. Okay, another thing mentioned also in this uh, um, admission uh, recommendations is actual curricula and the summer activities. So those are the things that become more and more important. Okay, so we'll, we'll cover more later on. So I put those things um, in a circle here. So those are the considerations uh, the college admission will take your criteria, um, take those things as criteria. Like we still have uh, this uh, GPA, SAT, APs, those classes um, requirement. And those other things become more and more important. As, as we all know, you know, like you need to write your essays and there's uh, several essays you need to write for each college, right? But how you make that standing out standing out, just uh, do not do something you think your friends, your classmates, or your other people would, would do. You just have to make something very unique. Can be very small things, but you just have to kind of like a, a make that memorable. When people read that, they get attached, and then you remember you. You remember some student put some story. This is so great. So those are the ISIS. That's a challenge today. Another thing is recommendation letters. So in the past, students normally go to their teachers, you know, high school teachers um, for some recommendation letters. But you know, the teachers are writing recommendation letters probably for um, tens of students, right? Or even uh, more than that. How they remember you? How can you let them to write really great things about you? And also, can, can you get some, like a couple of good recommendations letters from the projects you are doing, you know, like outside of the schools, uh, would that be very helpful as well, right? So those are the important things. And those are two things we are going to talk today is actual curriculums. So there's uh, um, traditionally, you know, people do sports, do art, do music. And so those things are pretty common, I will say. So you compare with your peers. I will assume most of the students here today, um, they are Asian students, right? Because we have an Asian community, we really uh, focus on the communication or focus on the um, education. So really we pay attention. So a lot of students, they play some sports like uh, soccer or you know basketball, tennis. Um, so there's uh, things. But one thing I want to remind you is uh, try now to do things like a very, what do you say, very, um, very common for the Asian peoples, but uncommon for uh, for Americans. For example, ping pong, you know, like a lot of people do very well ping pong and the badminton for those kind of sports. Our Asian or our Chinese populations, we appreciate those sports very well, but not, uh, not American admission officers. So that's the thing I want to let you know. And art, music, like our Chinese students, they do a lot of like a piano, uh, violin, those kind of um, flute, those kind of music. So this is pretty common already. So it's good you have these uh, activities, you know, that can help you in your long run. But I have to say right now, um, if you don't get like a, a place in the, get like a state awards, get like something um, really outstanding, this music art, they actually do not help you that much nowadays. But what will help you? For example, like if you can get into some intern jobs, some paid jobs, and get into some really cool projects. 
for example, like Hackathon could be a really cool project, right? You, you, you go into these competitions and you get some great ideas, you have a teamwork and you get a presentation, everything is so organized. So this can be a, a actual plus for you. And some summer plans, like some projects, research projects, or research work, like so, so you're trying to focus on the things that's uncommon. What I mean is uncommon for your classmates. If you, I know some students, they probably spend a few thousand dollars in the summer, go to a college uh, to go to a like leadership program or go to a like, class, um, they, they do different things. Um, how much college will you know, appreciate that? I think, yes, college will appreciate, college knows you are interested in learning more, but for anything, if you can pay, you can get into that, it wouldn't be valued that much. So this is my um, my advice to you. Trying to get something not common. I would say hack done is a good opportunity to you get into there. And another thing we want to mention about is community services. Um, for some people, this is kind of for um, like uh, situations they don't they are not familiar with. But as you know, if you want to really get ahead of your peers, you know, get into good schools, community services are very important. You want to get into clubs, can be your school clubs, can be outside organizations, nonprofit organizations, and you do some community services and you, you develop your own leadership skills. Okay, so I'll give you some example um, here. So I actually, this is a part of the seminars I gave out. I, I train students and families on leadership and what is leadership, how this leadership can help them in the long run, not only for the college, but also for their future career, right? For, for their future life. So those are the important things. Okay, we'll just go, go ahead to pass this one. I'll give you examples on um, community services. Okay, we already talk about Hackdown in the, um, next session after 20 minutes we will have another um, very good speaker on this and then i give you some ideas for example um i'm also the leader of another organization i'm a parent leader but those are my student leaders so those student leaders they do so many different activities and they become the leaders of these nonprofit organizations and for example there's one thing a lot of students, if they didn't get into certain organizations, programs, um, they would tell me last summer, it was a uh, COVID. They said, no, it's COVID. We couldn't get out. We don't have much we can do, right? But look at what our students did. So our students, they are all high school students. And some of them are actually from San Ramon. Um, Beatrix is from Cal, Cal High. Yeah. So they put together a, an online educational program and they named it like a, a express education. So they gave this free online educational programs to the, high, uh, to the middle schoolers. They talk about, you know, like different topics, chemistry, English. They give them education for free. So this is one of the activities, you know, those students, they are leading to. And, and this is a, a, another example because it, uh, Huber, um, he's actually putting together a, a virtual workout program because you know you cannot go out, you cannot do activities, but you can do that at home, right? So he's actually putting a very nice program just for middle schoolers, and they can follow like once a week activities from home. And this is another activity that we we led. So we let those students um, to have an interview with the supervisor Halber. Supervisor Halber used to be um, the mayor of Dublin. And then, so in this interview, we actually... So, so there's, a, um, there's some noise. Okay, that's great. So, so they ask questions. For example, they, they ask questions um, to Dr. Uh, to supervisor Halber. They ask, uh, what did you do in your high school that you develop the leadership um, at that time and lead you to community services later on, right? So they ask a lot of good questions. They even ask him, what's his favorite musician? <laughs> so a lot of fun there. Um, There's another student we talk about. So Beatrix, 
So she's only sophomore in the high school, but she did so much. So she did a, she led a project to build a library in Indonesia. And she did so much. Actually, we as an organization gave her a thousand dollars as a scholarship to encourage her to do more. So those are the um, things we have done in the past. And another thing we actually student help as well is we put together a um, we call it the Life in Tri Valley. It's like a newsletter. This is our first newsletter. So students can contribute to these kind of activities, newsletters, uh, communications. And as many of you probably heard, um, we are um, in this special time. There's a lot of anti-Asian hate, right? Anti-Asian hate. So we organized, um, our students are part of the organize, organizing um, power in this activity. So we invited uh, all the government officers here. So this, she, she actually is Rebecca. She's, uh, she's a state assembly woman. And uh, he's a supervisor Harbor from Alameda County. And we have uh, several mayors and a lot of council members and the head of the different parties. Um, they, they gave a talk. It's a, it's a very successful event. That's the mayor of Dublin. Oh, many of you probably know Catherine Baker. So Catherine Baker, she used to be the uh, assemblywoman for the state. So she also came and they all spoke. This is me and there's other, and there's a lot of students, as you can see, the students and there's parents, we all gathered to get our voices out. So there's more students here. They made their own um, signs, right? And then they get their voices out. And we get a lot of uh, newsletters, news out. They talk about, we have this rally and there's a Chinese newspaper as well, talk about those different things. And this is the last thing I want to um, play a little bit for you. So maybe you can get some sense of this. Uh, so that's Elizabeth. She is the current president of uh, the nonprofit organization we just mentioned about. It's a, uh, above and beyond leadership. So she did a, a talk there in this event as well. Um, let me make sure I share the sound. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you all for coming out here to support the Asian community. My name is Elizabeth Tan, and I'm a junior at Dublin High School, and I'm also the newly elected president of Above and Beyond Leadership Education, which is a nonprofit program run by youth-led and it to serve communities locally and worldwide. As an Asian American, it is truly terrifying to see the increase in hate crime against our community during the pandemic. Every day on the news, Asian elderly are beaten up at grocery stores, Asian women are being raped, and Asian children are being shot. We cannot let violence and discrimination against the Asian American community continue. Okay, so I'll just jump a little bit so you can kind of get a flavor um, just get the voice out as a youth leader. Just. Santa Georgia, eight people, including six American Asian women, were killed in a shooting. This news is purely heartbreaking and unacceptable. I may be young and I may be female, but I have a conscience and I have a voice. My generation will become the future and we must be the master of our own fate. Yes, they call me an ABC, American born Chinese. But today, our home, this is our country, and we must we must stand here as ABA, American Born Americas, Americans. This is, our, this is our home, this is our country, and we must bring attention to the hate directed towards Asian Americans. Stop Asian hate! Yeah. So, so the, those are some of the things I want you to get some idea you know, she can do it. She's a leader, she's a youth, and she's a junior in high school, and you can do it too, right? Let's just say, okay, so this, this is a little bit about um, how I, you know, as an organization, we help the students for college admissions, for career, because there are so many different majors, which one you should choose, yeah, right? What are the things you should consider? And college are so expensive, how you can get as much financial aid as possible. So those are the things um, for, for my organization as a college planning um, organization, educational services we provide. That's a, some of my team members. 
So with that said, um, I will just hand it over to the host and thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much to Dr. Hu for coming today and giving an amazing uh, presentation on extracurricular activities. If you have any questions,